Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another review. Uh, for the sake of this video, like I promised earlier to do, you know, finish the Halloween movie series. And that's what I'm going to uh, try to do with this one, or continue that series. Uh, by reviewing the 1998 film, Halloween H2O, 20 years later. Of course, this movie is actually a reboot of the whole series. And this is actually the second reboot. And there's actually two more reboots, the 2007 Rob Zombie film, plus the 2018 uh, Halloween film, which just, which just came out like a week ago. So, <clears throat> then like about a week later after that, the Halloween 2018 version came out. So it's, you know, a boatload of reboots for this series. Uh, my Halloween H2O, the only reason my Halloween H2O was, uh, even came, when it came to me it was for a couple of reasons. Number one, it was the 20th anniversary of the first film. So to capitalize on it, they made this film. And the second reason was uh, Jamie Lee Curtis was, able, was convinced to do it. Uh, because I think her agent or the producers of, of this film uh, came to her and says, uh, this is the 20th anniversary. When we do a reboot and have you back on the show, or, or have you do this film, and to maybe possibly end the whole series by bringing you back. And Jamie Lee you know, thought about it, and she agreed to do it because only because it's the 20th anniversary of the original film. That's it. Same thing this year because it's the 40th anniversary of the original film. She came back again. I think it's going, if it's the 60th anniversary, and if Jamie Lee is still, you know, with us, I bet she's going to come back for this, for for the uh, 60th anniversary, or maybe even the 50th anniversary. Uh, to, you know, 10 years from now, so if it's the 50th anniversary, I'm sure she's probably going to come back for that. But anyway, I'm going to focus on, on Halloween H2O for this uh, vi video. Uh, like I said, this film takes place 20 years later, and somehow they re they resurrect. Uh, Michael Myers and even though that in the films that this film actually goes uh, pretends that Halloween 3 through 6 didn't happen uh, I'm talking about Halloween 3, Halloween 4, Halloween 5 and Halloween 6 so it's kind of like more like a direct sequel to Halloween 2 1981 uh, film Halloween 2 instead of Direct review of how after after Halloween sex. But of course, this film does bring out the fact. I mentioned the fact that Doctor Loomis who was played by Donald Pleasance had died a couple years earlier, which of course he did. Uh, he died about like three uh, three years, I think three or four years before this movie. He actually died like in ninety, I think in ninety four ninety five, just bef just after he finished filming Halloween. Sex, which came out in 1995. Um, after he finished filming, and, and I think they had one year between the filming from they did for Halloween Sex and the time the movie came out, he passed away like a couple months earlier. So, so they mentioned that in this, in this film that Dr. Loomis had died, and in this, apparently, Michael Myers in the opening sequence of the film goes to Sam Loomis' house. I guess looking for for Loomis, and he actually killed the nurse, was or Loomis's nurse, who was staying there in uh, Sam Loomis's house. So when the cops investigate the uh, murder, they realize all the stuff that Sam Loomis had uh, you know, over the years when, when he was investigating the uh, you know you know Michael Myers and following him around and stuff, uh, but. That's what they did, and of course they figured out, like, they figured that Michael Myers was going back to Hanfield again, and which is a reasonable thing to believe. And of course, they all, all, all focused on what happened 20 years earlier, that he killed his sister, uh, on the one sister, and he tried to kill, the, you know, Lori Stroll, who also had, quote, died. Well, then you transfer to... Uh, Southern California in a small <coughs> uh, private school 
where Jamie Lee, where Laurie Stroll, first played by Jamie Lee Curtis, was working at. And her son happens to be a student at this school. And they completely f forget the fact that, you know, that Laurie had a daughter, Jamie, who was involved in Halloween's 4, 5, and 6. Uh, they kind of eliminated that character altogether, never brought it up, the thing that she was killed by Michael Myers, or all that stuff. Um, because like I said earlier, they quickly eliminate what happened in Halloween's 3, 4, 5, and 6. And so, you know, that she had a son. And she had, and of course, Lori Strobe had this annoying boyfriend. Was played by Adam Orkin, son of Alan Orkin, who was more famous for being in, um, uh, one of the hospital shows. It was up against ER, uh, Chicago Hope. You know, that was a show. It was, up, it was on Chicago Hope back in the day. He plays her boyfriend, and he pretends, and he didn't know that she had this other life that was chased by a mass killer. And then eventually, Lori told him what had happened 20 years earlier, that she killed all my friends, that she killed uh, my parents, she's doing all this crazy stuff. And then, uh, of course, also in the, also in the uh, film, Lori Stroh's family was going after, uh, the Michael Myers was going after Lori Stroh's family in Hanfield because they took uh, Lori Stroh's you know, Michael Myers' old house because he could never sell it because of all the stuff that's going on with Michael Myers over the years. Then Michael Myers keeps coming back to the house and kills whoever happens to be in the house. So, Lori Stroh's family, and she had like an abusive father who abuses the daughter, abuses the wife, and and all that, I think, I think, I think it makes it up. I think it was in Halloween Sex, actually. Uh, but, Nori Stroh told Alan Morkin's character, uh, character about all the stuff that was going on. And then, of course, soon enough, here comes Michael Myers, killing it, killing, you know, going on another rampage. And, of course, they were running all over the, the school campus. Because that's where Nori Stroh was. And, they try and get, you know, my, you know, to kill Michael, and 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 of course her son, her son brings up the fact that hey look you try to kill him, burn him, no matter what we do to this guy he's not going to kill him. So how 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 can you kill this guy when nobody nobody else has, has succeeded? And, and she goes well, I'm going. And she goes I'm going to. So what happens is of course, in the end, they. Apparently, you'll kill them at the end of this film. I'm not giving a. I mean, this movie is 20 years old, so whoever. I'm sure people have seen this movie by now, um, so I'm not really spoiling anything. Uh, because, because you should have seen this movie by now. I mean, it is a 20 year old film, so most people, especially those of Halloween fans, probably saw this movie already. I, I haven't, so somehow I keep missing this movie. Uh, so anyway, Laurie Stroh kills kills Michael Myers at the end of the film, and guess what? Uh, Laurie takes the van, crashes the van, first runs over Michael Michael Myers. Of course, gets up, gets out of the van. She she flips the van over a couple. Well, first she runs over Michael Myers, flips over the van about like twenty times. Somehow she survives, and, and traps Michael Myers between the van and a, and a tree. So he's trapped. So here comes Lori, she comes with, with like a hatchet and slices Michael Myers' head off. Literally. And this was really the first time that Michael Myers was decapitated in one of these films. I mean, he was burned up like twice, shot about 50,000 times, or at least filled like 50,000 times. He was burned at least twice, shot 50,000 times, stabbed, knocked over the head. Uh, I could do like a Joe Bob Briggs thing, how many times the hap what happened to Michael Myers, but it's like so many teams to count, gets pushed off a roof, stand, shot, burn, uh, kicked, in, kicked in the balls, knocked over the head, you know, kung fu, crazy fu, kick his ass fu, and all, all that stuff, and, and then that's how the movie ended by Lori chopping her Michael Myers head off. Uh, before I conclude this video, I should also mention the fact that Jamie Lee Curtis's real life mother 
who was uh, Jenna Lee, makes a cameo in this film. And she does have a couple of lines in this movie. And also, by the way, she also, or Jenna Lee does, drives the same car that she drove in Psycho. So, so that's exactly the same car that she drove in Psycho. So, which is a movie that made Jenna Lee famous. Even though she was already a Sabbath Storm when, when she did Psycho, uh, back in 1960. But that was the same car. So it's kind of fun. And I think that was also the only time when Jenna Lee stored with her daughter. In, in, in a movie. So it's kind of fun to see someone who was killed by a famous uh, movie killer in in uh, Norman Bates storing with a door with a daughter who 18 years later stored in the first Halloween film back in 1978 but this movie believe it or not got a pretty good success pretty good uh, you know setup so they decided to make another film which I hopefully will get to next this is my review of uh, Halloween H2O 20 years later please click on the video please rate it Please subscribe to my channel and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and all on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com. It's all W D Y and that's C.com. And the homepage is Rally Reviewer Christine Moore. And please check out all my videos on my website, not only my YouTube channel, but on Christine Moore's website. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.